What's up, Aries? This is Soul, and Aries, we're going to look at your week ahead starting December 4th and ending December 10th, 2023. Aries, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using the uh, Spellcasters Tarot to deliver your messages. I have reversed some cards here. We're just going to cleanse the energy from doing uh, Pisces reading, and then we shall begin with you. Please show uh, Aries what they can expect this week. Tell Aries, or show Aries, I should say, what they can expect, need to know. Moving forward, energies for Aries. Oops. All right, here we go, Aries. Begin your reading. We have the Eight of Swords, okay? Eight of Swords is feeling like you're trapped and... Um, blindfolded of course you're not so this could be uh if it does express itself some situation that aries may be dealing with this week and you need to put it under control because you don't want this energy to linger around so this is always representing some sort of fears concerns or worry oftentimes i read the eight of swords as a breaking communication with family members friends romantic partners all right so if it's not Something that is, um, you know, that you can finger point or if it's actual, then it may be for some areas that you're, you're building up some sort of mental energy about a specific situation that has yet to occur. And nine times out of 10, whatever it is that you're building up in your mental mind um, may not even take place. So be very, very careful here with this eight of swords energy. All right. But if it is real, decrease it as much as you possibly can because you don't want it to increase to the nine of swords because that's even worse. Then we have the uh, high priestess. The high priestess is here to help you and trusting the process in terms of your own intuition. You're here to uh, be guided. This card here represents uh, secrets and uh, crushes being shielded from you or you're shielding those things from others. Opposites attract. Okay, but the most important thing that you need to know is trust your intuition then we have the eight of wands eight of wands is simply good communication so whatever it is that you need to express this week to others will be well received and whatever is coming your way in the form of communication aries will be well received by you even number of wands so it's effective to and fro if you are traveling whether it's work related uh vacationing you're safe to and from this is actually the type of energy that will put a smile on your face and that good news could come through a phone call it could come through hard copy mail or it could be received through texting right all right and also a touch of surprise then we have the knight of pentacles and maybe uh for some of you hearing about a specific job that you may have applied for or it could be in the form of promotion so this is a job offer contract offer of course one of my financial independent cards knight of pentacles five of swords here is the card of um could be internal or external conflict you got to sort something out here aries it also could be seen as the reduction of the Eight of Swords. It does mirror over here to the Eight of Swords. So maybe you, if you experience this Eight of Swords energy here, you're working on it. You'll have to be careful, though, however, of uh, mental challenges coming in from others. They like to play head games with you, Aries. And also, you may have something that someone is envious of. Then we have the Strength card. So no matter what is going on in terms of the Five of Swords or the Eight of Swords, you will overcome any obstacles or challenges here. Feeling courageous, powerful, dynamic. Your part of this energy here represents Leo specifically. This card represents intensity, passion, definitely sexual energy, and sexual expression. So you have Strength on your side. Then we have the Six of Wands. This is victory and success. This is also like the Eight of Wands traveling, safe to and from. All right. This is a, a driving force of positive energy that's either coming towards you or it's, yeah, you're either going towards this positive energy or the positive energy is coming towards you. I don't know why I got that twisted. Queen of Wands is even more positive energy here. This is a card of strong attraction. Definitely, um, focused on something or someone normally going after whatever it is that you're focused on intense passionate 
sexual energy again sexual expression there could be a greater ex, you know s expression of creativity for uh, those artistic areas out there then we have the three of cups there's the <laughs> yeah look at this the three of cups is the form of celebrations happiness birthday celebrations anniversaries of course spending quality time with significant others underneath that knight of pentacles maybe the news comes through that you get the job or the promotion or the contract or something going on related to money and you're happy about it so you're celebrating with others so this could be family members friends romantic partners it definitely could be co-workers after work during happy hour Final card here for you, Aries, and uh, we finish off with the Four of Cups, okay? So the Four of Cups is celebration. Well, it is a form of celebrations, but it's, um, you know, usually with family members, romantic partners, and friends, socializing. Um, some of you may be uh, eating out to, at diners or restaurants this week, and it's an even number of cups. What you give, Aries, is what you're going to get back. In your shadow energy, here's another money card, the Queen of Pentacles. Okay, so this is the promotion. This is the uh, pay raises. This is the boss in the workplace environment, the creditors. This could be um, someone who comes along and wants to form a business partnership with Aries. Or it could be somebody who has already formed their own business and they're doing very well in the line of you know work or business that they have chosen. They have pocket chains. They like the finer things in life. Um, someone that you can depend on, rely on, very good with money. So they're good money handlers, never coming across as selfish or stingy ever. So this could be a business partnership that may be formed, or it could be somebody that comes along and it links to some sort of romance. Then we have the world card. Oh my gosh, you got the world card. So this here is uh, about a relationship, right? So there's a chapter that's closing uh, for you, Aries. 29, 30 is about to open up. Pay attention. This is the card that represents opportunities that may come um, your way, expected or unexpected. Hmm. Last card here is the uh, King of Swords, and the King of Swords is, of uh, course, in the reverse position. This usually indicates uh, an activity, decision-making. So there's something that may be going on here for uh, some Aries. And remember, this is just in your uh, shadow, but it is part of your energies. So it may express itself uh, in some fashion. So there's some sort of major decision or inaction that you are hesitant about. Maybe it's because um, you haven't communicated or got the information that you need. In spite of the Eight of Wands presence as good communication, maybe there's something still lacking here that you need to, um, you know, ascertain and, and it's just not coming to you. And then you're uncertain or, you know, indecisive about moving forward, whatever that is. But the most important thing is that you have the high priestess here to help you to trust whatever decisions or actions that you're about to take. Uh, hence the lack of uh, information or, you know, communication. All right, so this is what I have for you this week, Aries. Not too bad, just me interpreting the cards. It looks pretty good energetically. So please give this video a thumbs up. I'd appreciate that. You guys have a safe, great week ahead. Keep smiling for me, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.